Oh boy. Well, I keep threatening to do these things, and it seems to be every couple of months that uh, it happens, but I'm doing it again. I need a drink, sorry. Uh, well, it's 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 hit me again that I wanted to do something else in the channel, and I'm hoping this is interesting. And uh, you very much can't tell this is BattleTech. I enjoyed BattleTech a lot as a kid. I watched it all the time. I have to get up at like six, seven a.m. for the animated series. This is mid '90s at this point, but. Always enjoyed it. Never played any of the tabletop stuff. I played Mech Commander, Mech Commander 2, Battletech 3, whatever the Black Knight one. The one where I basically had, the they, they forced you to buy the Sidewater controller. Because keyboard commands, you needed 18 hands to do it. It wasn't possible. Tried playing the free-to-play version that came out a couple of years ago at this point. I don't even know if it's still around. Didn't enjoy it that much, but I really liked Mech Commander 2. That's where I first played anything online. Multiplayer. So I'm just banging shit around here. And this came out. Played it for a while and kind of just forgot about it, but here we are again. And instead of doing campaign, we're doing the career thing. Kind of just like... You get the whole galaxy and you just play it. Do whatever the fuck you want. And uh, here we go. We're going to do another one. Alright. I really don't know much about any of this. Other than that, I'm leaving everything as the same. And uh, here we go. I've already played the Restoration Campaign. I've played a chunk of it. So... I never learned my lesson, and I'm going into this quite uh, blind, I guess. Or ill-prepared, we could say. Uh, thing to keep in mind, too, uh, I don't think this is on my SSD. Load times for this game are pretty pretty crazy. Uh, we're going to take a drink. I'm not editing out any of the downtime. Just so you can see. Once again, it only shows. I should just move the mouse around so it, so it proves. I'm not changing this in any way. Here we go. I probably should have put this on the SSD, but didn't. I don't know if many other people know about Battletech. It's just fucking big fucking mechs shooting each other. You can think about like strategizing or anything like that. I just like getting big fucking mech and shooting people. And a lot of the mechs in the game may not even be in it or I don't even recognize it. I'm like the most passive like yeah I enjoy the stuff. See I'm still loading. This is this is how long it takes. You know, if this goes on longer, then maybe I'll be like, all right, I'll cut these out for brevity's sake, but I just wanted you to understand what you go through. It's random as far as what they give you for people, but I feel like I have to go with the clan I was for for Mech Commander 2. I was in the Capellan Confederation. We were very much playing um, Mech Commander 2 on the... Windows game live. What the hell? Uh, the TCL ladder, I believe it was. The Cobra League or something like that. This is 2001. Basically. I don't know what any of this stuff is. You know what? We'll just say we went bankrupt. And, uh, what's, yeah, the other handy thing is it does actually, uh, label. Like, the little yellow things is what they actually give you. If you hover over it, it gives you information. Edit. I gotta make me, so let's let's do it. And yeah, we'll just do that. I am me. Random. Tapuari Dodo. I have to look for someone who n nearly looks like me. None of these do. Um... Anyone with a beard. You without the tattoos, but, you know. 
I don't care enough. We're going to go with that. And gunnery and piling and tactic just seem... Like, these all mean things. This has to do with hit to range weaponry. I don't want that. I want gunnery. That's the one I'm looking for. There we go. Gunnery and guts. Guts, I think, is health. Yep, we're we're gonna we're gonna do that. Mercenary career, I've been blah 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 blah. Finish in one piece, blah blah blah. It's fun. Here we go. Alright, so everything's been randomized. Let's see what we were given for mechs. We have Centurion, two Centurions, a Jenner, a little spider, two spiders. And they're all, like, weight class. These are obviously the lighter you are, the faster you move around. The more heavier you get, you do other things like that. I need another drink. Mm. Now, I do know from watching somebody with a video, I believe I have to do this. And then fast forward. Yep. A day. With the new expansion that came out. They give you, like, a free mech that comes out with the expansion. It's kind of... You could call it cheating, but it's random what they give you. I got a Vulcan. Curious mech design. See, like, they also do a thing where they have the mech, and then there's, like, subcategories that are tailored around things. Each one has hard points and the blah, blah, blah. I don't know how um, like explanatory I'm going to get with this shit. There's other people who are far better at doing this stuff. Vulcan 2, mech, design, primary, support attacks. I really like doing big motherfuckers and also long-range shit. Just blow the fuck out of people with guns and missiles. And the PPC, that's always the coolest one. This shit in favor, blah, blah, blah. This seems like I got a weird combo. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do is... I like Vulcan. Um, Jenner's okay. Two medium lasers. What we're going to do is just... I'm going to... Scrap... And what I'm going to do is actually do this. We're going to go to refit. And... Strip everything. Because I'm going to sell this one. Confirm. Get it all off them. Yep. We got rid of it. So now we're going to... Put it to storage. We don't need that one anymore. And then we're going to go to the store and sell it. Get some free money. It's kind of cheap in the beginning, but... You're going to understand, I'm pretty bad at this. I'll try to make this go as fast as I possibly can. But... Keep in mind... It's... A little bit of... Customization... When doing this stuff. Alright, so... Let's refit the Vulcan. What do we have here? You have combinations of extreme range, medium range, and then machine gun shit. So I think I'm going to stick with you being um, long range. So let's get rid of some stuff. Jump jets in there to make you move around a bunch. UAC-5. And you can only put things on the little uh, markers for it. This guy really seems to be missing some... Uh, actually, I'm just going to leave him as is for now. I'll futz with him later when I actually get some stuff. What is this? Ooh, well, melee hit. He seems to be kind of all over the place where he can, like, do some long-range shit, then run in real quick and just pound the shit out of you. So, I, I like that combo. We're gonna do them. Because I think you can take four guys out per uh, permission. Alright, we're gonna refit this guy. Because I want to see if I can do this. Damage is 45 times 2. And this is 60. So, 45 times 2 is more than 60. So... I think I'm going to swap this out, put this on here, and look at how much more um, whatever you want to call it, 
damage I can do with this new weapon on here. Max out the armor. What is this? Ammo that it cannot use. All right, so let's get rid of the ammo we can't use. These little hand pop-up things are pretty handy. I, I will give it that. So this does two shots per. And how much ammo is in here? 15 rounds. So seven rounds or so. That's That's not much. I should probably try to get some more. But for now, let's do this. They'll get it done today. No, they'll get it done in five days. So what I'm going to do is go to the store and look for AC5. We have any... Go to the gun. AC5 ammo. All right, so what is LB? Um, I don't know what LB is. It doesn't seem to be the thing I am doing, so I'm going to buy... And this is what another 50 30 rounds so uh, that's that's 15 rounds of fighting usually rounds don't go that long so we're gonna go back to the mech bay we're gonna stop work uh yeah confirm money's fine right now so we'll refit you oh my fucking neck it's killing me i should probably look into Fixing that somehow. All right, let's put the other AC5 in there. Grip armor, max armor. That's fine. It's five days. Perfect. Heat efficiency isn't great, so do we have any extra? We don't, but that's fine. A lot of the time, I think I'm just going to be poking away from far range. All right, that's enough futzin for now. Let's go advance... Oh, mech bay. And now we're going to... You also have to upgrade a bit of the ship. This is kind of like XCOM 2, if you know anything about that. We're going to just do some... All right. Quick futzing, All right. and then we're going to get back. Update five days, and we're going to do the first mission. Once the Centurion's done... Oh, yeah. So once it's done here... Done, hmm. Go to the barracks. We have some mech warriors. Pilots! They got some EXP. So, weapon, we're going to do U2. Kilo. I like guns and pilots. A lot of these guys don't have any EXP. That's fine. All right, so let's actually go and find us a contract and go do some uh, fighting. It's 13 minutes in. Yes, I know. Everything takes a while to load up, and of course, we're going to do um, very basic stuff to start. So we'll do this one, I guess. This one is Commander blah, 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 bring it down mostly intact. So I gotta try to take these out, and of course, you negotiate. One goes up, the other goes down. That's how it works. Early game, it's it's kind of just all over the place. I think we're going to leave it as is. All right, so... You you got the... AC, UAC5, that's going to be me, because I'm the coolest guy. I'm going to get the coolest... Um, mech. Got some big ones here. SRM, medium, medium, short range, do some damage. You're super quick and you only go pew pew. We're going to do the Jenner instead, all right? So other good gunner, you're going to go on that. You're going to go on this one. And then you're going to be in that. All right, here we go. First fight. Starting the timer. See how long it takes to load this up. These aren't as... Long alodes, but they're still pretty long. Again. First mission. Introductory. Um, I'm kind of just going to go through it, and if you guys ever need things explained, I can try. But again, you're just here for seeing how badly I fuck up. Because it's going to happen. These games are kind of chance. You can 
try to set things as best you can to your advantage, but just go into it knowing that, you know, these are kind of dice rolls and you can fuck things up. When you do fuck up, you do get punished pretty badly. Kind of like XCOM. I've never seen, like, one of these tabletop things actually happen. I don't even know how it would. Like, maybe if I uh, Googled or YouTubed a video of a Mac thing, blah, blah, blah. Advanced, yep. Alright. <clears throat> so, kind of like... Let's see, how far do we gotta get? Eh, pretty far. Terrain also is a thing. These little... See the little bars? There's evasion. Excuse me. When you move, you can create invasion points. And the more you move, the harder it is for you to get hit. Stuff like that. Uh, there's cover. There's other, like, being in different terrain can also create things. But also, each time you get shot at, you lose one of these. These are dodge percentages. The more you have them, the harder you are to hit. Unless you get meleeed, then it um, gets rid of all of that. All right, we're going to get into range soon. But we just motor along. We're in, you see, this is rough terrain. It's hard to get hit, but when you do get hit, you lose a lot of stability. You can fall over and shit, too. That's bad. You don't want to fall over. Let's put us here. There's also things to worry about as far as, like, temperature when you shoot, you know. You overheat, you can cause more damage and shit, but also terrain can also affect it. Of desert places, we'll make sure you can't lose heat that much faster. Cold places, you lose it faster. Staying in water will also do it. I'm going to reserve so we're all on the same combat round. You can barely see it up here between the background we have here, but looking around, there's three. It's going to get in the view. Yep. It's a Jenner. Now he's going to shoot. Did he hit me? Nope. See, he missed, so that knocked one evasion pip down. The smaller the guys, the harder they are to hit, but... By. You can see when it's a straight line like that, that means I have direct fire. When it's an arch, you can kind of tell. That's only with, like, indirect fire, like missiles and whatnot. You hold down the move, see the different arc thing? That's the way you're facing. You have to face a way to shoot. And the different colored bars there are like your effective ranges. So, this one, I was in pretty good range. I have terrible percentages to hit, but you gotta knock down the evasion hits. And I think all of us at the same time will be able to do some damage, hopefully, to this little tiny guy. As you see here, he's shoddy. And heat sinking ability is increased because it's snowy outside. I'm going to throw everything at it and see if something hits. That's a miss. Did get one hit. Did hit him. Kind of lucky. Again, we're going to move our guys up. Then you just... Big giant fucking mech shooting shit. That's... At base, that's what it is. Alright, let's see if this gun can hit. Different weapons do different types of damage. If you can stagger, knock them over. Yeah. It can seem a bit overwhelming, but it's it's really not. Oh, he's got jump jets. Why didn't I use those? I'm dumb. Vulcan wants to get in close. But, hey, that's looking like some decent damage. I'm close enough to... Plug away at him, but again, not doing well. I don't want to expose my butt. Here we go. Can I jump jet? Yes. Helps me with positioning. Do a little bit of heat, but this should be good. All right, this should do some damage. Because we all plugged away at him. We knocked over a bunch of stuff. Look at that. I mean, it took all of us shooting at it. A little tiny mech like that. Didn't fall over. A commando. I'm exposed. I would like to have my guy in cover. 
but the lighter you are, the bigger you are, the less mobility you have. I want to try to shoot again. He's pretty hurt. I can probably overheat him if I... I want to try to keep my overheat, because when you overheat, you do cause yourself some damage. I think this will be fine. Let's let's see if we can't do any good damage to him. There. Knocked him out. Sweet. First guy down. Sweet. Because you don't want to... You want to kind of try to get... Oh, Panther. I don't like him. Because he's got that thing. A PPC. Which impairs your sensors. It's the only thing he has on. He's kind of a light mech, but that's all he's got for a weapon. I'm ready for orders. All right. Get myself into cover here. It's not enough move. Nope. Too many buttons. Just for orders. You do not have jump jets. I'm not in optimal range here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go at least into cover to get myself. Am I in rough terrain? Ah, fuck I am. Yeah, the sensor stamp's bad. Not really happy with any of my shots here. I really want to get you. So precision strike. It's going to give me a good chance to at least get rid of some evasion and maybe do some damage. His PPC is on this arm, so if I get rid of that torso here, it will also get rid of the arm, I think. College House also drops their initiative, so they are farther down. Like, they they get delayed on when they can attack. So hopefully, I can actually uh, get them down. Ooh, that's some good damage by the looks of it. But... He's, he's still up. Let's jump jet. Ooh, I like that. Come on, Vulcan. Fuck him up. Here we go. I think he's going to be fine. Well, lost the heat sink, but he still has his PPC. I took some shots. Didn't work out. Now he's going to do something to me. Is he going to come over and punch me? Mm -mm. You're that close and you missed? Alright, I'm going to just walk up and punch him in the face. You can sometimes get lucky and you can punch him right in the head and it's an instant... Oh, two shots. You can knock him in the face and instantly knock him out. Then you can take the mech, which is pretty cool. I want to do this. Hopefully, I can take you out. Too much overheating. I really want those. Uh, I can only do that. It sucks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't knock him over at least. He's not very. You gotta get like to there to knock him over, but he's pretty dinged up. I think I could do it. All his right arm got destroyed, so he doesn't have his, uh, yep, PPC's gone. He can't shoot with that anymore. So all he's got is missiles, I believe. Yep. Eh, he's fine. All right. Receiving you. Let's, uh, punch this motherfucker from this position. Yep, see... Removes guard, ignores it, hates invasive, deals damage and stability damage. So I'm gonna walk over to him, and when you get a big fucking mech, sometimes you just come over, and you just kick the fuck out of him, and you blew his arm off. <laughs> what a hit. Oh, that's so, so dumb. It's cool. So you know what? I'm gonna fucking punch him again. He's getting ganged up on. Here we go. Boom. And he lost his leg. He's he's knocked down. So when they get knocked down, you do you can you get all caught called shots, and you can do Good to go. like bonus damage to him. However, that's not what I want. I want to shoot, kill him, because when he's down, he's not going to be able to do much. Let's go for you. 
And fire. We get anything good? Now nah, he's fucked up, but he's not gone down yet. Jesus. That guy is resourceful. You gonna come over and kick me now? Nope. More missiles. I need to dang gang it up on this one guy. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, I do not care. Waiting for orders. Uh, alright, no jump jets this time. Let's just peer down. That should get rid of some of my overheat, hopefully. See, when you jump jet a lot, that also can really cause your, uh, your, uh, overheat. You gotta do some heat sinks. It's all about managing stuff like that. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna try to kill him. I'm gonna do a laser. I'm gonna do a second laser. That's just at the line. Um, let's do it. We're at the end of the mission. And he, there's, no, he's nothing gonna be left to him. He's like the friggin' Black Knight from Monty Python. He's gonna bleed on me. And now he's gonna try to limp away. And he's gonna, is he gonna go behind me and punch me? He is. Nope. <laughs> got gumption I'll give him that but what I won't do is anything else besides that all right this guy shot you a bunch get some redemption fuck you wow his hand he's got nothing how is he still up <laughs> well just end his life Bitch slap him. There. Took 16,000 punches. He's finally down. Alright. Now what I could do is I think you can jump jet on him. But that causes you very to be very unstable. Death from above is sitting in the bottom right. Uh, it's a 50% chance to hit. It's a lot of damage. Makes me very unstable. I don't think I want to do that. Let's try to get closer. Let's move. Nope, I'm not in optimal range. Not in optimal range. That's optimal. On my way. Hopefully this ends it. This guy... Very much... Should be dead. Nope. He is impossible to kill. I should ask him for his autograph. Ooh, he did some damage there. This is hilarious. Alright, you kill him. Just punch him. He needs a light mech. Light mechs don't do too much damage, but this should do it. You serious? Everything. Is he finally falling down? Jesus. Christ. The most dedicated, hard to kill little mech there ever was. And then at the end of it, a little bit of salvaging. We got $136,000 for that. We destroyed enemy units. Nobody got injured. I gotta reduce some repairs on you, which is fine. It'll be like a day or two. Then we got a little kill count here. I got one kill. You know, Primer got a few. Okay, now I can pick different parts of mechs I want. Since I didn't choose any uh, thing besides one, that's all I'm getting. So let's see. I don't really care about Panthers or Commandos, medium laser, you know, short range missiles. I'll take them. And then at the end, I may get some other random shit, and I did. Got two parts of a Panther, you need three total to do a uh, mech. Claim salvage value is that much. I wouldn't get that much if I sold it, but great. Ah, uh, now 
I got some more loading. And it's about a half hour. That was half stat. Well, I think in this one, I'll think I'll just do a little bit of house cleaning and repairing stuff at the end here. Hmm. But, yeah. As we sit here and load, before I do a little touch-up stuff, this is something I'll do along with um, the GeoGuessr stuff. Very much as I go through this. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, if you have any other comments, questions, concerns, complaints, or anything else for that matter, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, thanks again for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Really would appreciate it. I'll see you here tomorrow with some more GeoGuessr. But until then, have a good one.